Welcome to History Insight. Today, we will take a brief look at the history of iron mining and production across Southside Virginia, specifically in Patrick and Henry County. These counties have a rich history in iron mining and iron-related production, but now, much of that history is gone from present-day views, either having buildings demolished or, in some cases, being underwater. Let's take a look at the history of iron mining and production across these two counties. Iron mining has existed for as long as people have settled in what is now known as the Fairy Stone State Park area of eastern Patrick County. Originally, large deposits of iron ore sat on the surface of the land or just under it. Miners would dig up the ore deposits and send them east by horse and wagon to be refined and made into finished products. As time passed and more mining was done, eventually shafts had to be cut into the sides of the hills to gather the ore. The entrances to several of these mine shafts can still be seen on the hiking trails around Fairy Stone State Park. Much of the land where the iron ore was located came to be owned by the Horde family in the latter part of the 18th century. Upon the passing of John Horde, it became largely owned by George Harston of the Beaver Creek Plantation. His son, George Harston Jr., helped establish a small furnace and foundry near the iron mines so that the ore could be refined and made into products to be sold. This business became known as Union Ironworks Company. Harson's iron mining and refining business is what helped earn him the nickname Old Rusty. A lot of the furnishings, including plates, silverware, and candle holders inside of Old Rusty's house, known as Hordesville, came from his foundry. During the Civil War, ownership of the iron mines and foundry was sold to the Confederate States of America, who shipped much of the iron ore back east to the famed Tredegar Iron Works, located on the banks of the James River in Richmond. There is speculation that the iron that was used in the manufacturing of the famous Confederate ironclad, the CSS Virginia, also known as the Merrimack, came from the mines of Patrick County. There is no confirmation of that, though it is neat to think about. After the Civil War, the mines and foundry continued to be active and grew quite substantially. The mining operation was eventually purchased by Frank Ayer Hill and Herbert Dale Lafferty. The combining of their names would eventually become the name of the town built around the mines, later known as Fairdale. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we ask that you please click the like button below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.